So now we will see more maybe about the remote mount and see what are these uh, advanced functions that we are going to talk about it and give us an insight on it. Sure. And uh, if you click the button of uh, remote mount, you can see uh, there is a list. And the first one is create a remote mount, and we have already mentioned before. Mm -hmm. And uh, the second one is the previous a setting you yeah. can uh, give the uh, you can permit your uh, NAS user yeah, to let allow them to use the remote mount function. Yeah. And the third one is uh, connection record. You can view the uh, every connection record. Yeah. And the third, uh, fourth one is the uh, con current connection status. You can view and edit the connection status of the NAS. Currently. Yes, currently. Okay. And last one, uh, if you want to see more about remote mount, you can click here about the remote mount. And uh, the remote mount function in it is not only can access the file in file station, but also you can access the file by queue filing. When you are archiving the uh, file, you can uh, select the remote device as a source or as a destination when filing. Yeah. And because uh, Q file was support to uh, do this editing when uh, archiving a remote file such as uh, video transcoding, yeah. compressing, encryption, or uh, adding a watermark. Yeah. So it will basically organize all your files. Yes. So now Josh has prepared a demo for, for uh, the remote mount. Yes. So maybe now we can move on to the demo. Okay, here is the NAS. Um, I what I use to demo is the uh, TPS four fifty three DX. It's our uh, new NAS book and just launched recently. Okay. And I just letting on is uh, in this few days. So in this NAS, I have no data in this NAS. Mm -hmm. So if I have, if I want to. Um, import my data from other NAS or from uh, my cloud storage yeah. I can use the remote mount function oh. so here is the remote mount function and just click here and then create the remote mount then you can create it and if you want to um, if you want to mount the cloud service you have to uh, install the connect to cloud drive yeah. application in app center so that you can see the part here to let you mount the cloud service and so far we uh, support nine cloud service for you to mount yeah. yes and this is the first patch, second patch and three page. third patch yeah. so oops okay so first uh, let me uh, demo to mount the Dropbox okay and just click Dropbox and go to the next step just by selecting it there yeah. and it will open a, a new web and now you just um, log in your uh, Dropbox account. Yeah. It's those three simple steps that you mentioned earlier. Yes. Easy. Yeah. Uh, Dropbox, second step, and the third step would be to allow it or apply. Yeah. And then you just, uh, you can rename it. What you, whatever you want and I don't rename this today so I just can just leave it as it is so, so simple <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so you can see uh, your Dropbox is uh, here and I have uh, mount the Google Drive previous so you can I can see a two cloud here yeah so two different cloud services yes. can be in one single uh, interface you can unmount whatever you want and uh, no matter how much you want okay yes. That's very useful actually. Yes, and now uh, I just keep going to uh, mount the remote NAS. So okay. first I'm going to demo is the uh, search device function. It's uh, auto search in your local area network. Yes. So you can see okay. uh, because in our office we have lots of NAS here. And this is processing. Maybe try. It should take time. Let me see it. loading it should show a lot of NASs here right yes because in our office we have a lot of NASs yeah. 
So it takes so it some time. Yeah. But, but yeah. Okay, so you will see a list here. And the last I'm going to mount today is this one. Our store. Yes. And it's I a PS 453B. I log in first. Account. And this one tell me uh, it, I can mount it by Samba or FTP. FTP. So first, uh, let me mount it by FTP. Okay. And uh, if you want to mount the specific folder, you can click the um, here the button here, and it will help you to uh, retrieve a folder list of your NAS. Yes, but it only support the uh, um, QNAP NAS. Okay. If your uh, remote NAS is QNAP NAS. Okay. But um, today I'm going to because we use the FTP protocol, so yeah. I'm going to demo you to mount uh, directly. Mount directly. I mount the root folder, which means I mount all of the shared folder. Mm. Get it now. So with root folder, you basically have access to everything. Yes. Okay. Turn out. Same stuff. We stay too long time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, to the okay, search. and this, this time I. I try to uh, select the protocol first. Okay, the FTP. Yes, and here you need to uh, enter your IP. Or we also have a function here to let you search the um, IP in your local network. Okay. So we just search it. It's searching, but if you know the IP, you can type it directly. Yes, you and can then type it directly. Okay, and by searching, there are a lot of masses. Or Also mount it directly. Leave a name. Our our NAS, our store. And you can see here. Oh, it's so fast. Yes. And because we uh mount the mount directly, we mount the root folder so you can see every yeah. share folder wow. is shown here. And next, I'm going to mount the uh, Samba, okay, Samba. through the Samba protocol. Okay. Also, we can search the device. The same way as we search yes, for the other and one. If, you're, uh, if your remote NAS is not a uh, QNAP NAS, yeah. or, not a NAS uh, uh, not, or your uh, private server, you can just type your IP. IP. Password. And because we are going to a month through Samba, so we need yeah. to uh, select a specific folder. So now I let it to retrieve my folder mm. list. So you can see oh, these are the folders that you retrieve now. Yes, and then you can have multiple choice here. You can mount not only one folder. More than one. Yes. Uh, Simba protocol can support you to um, uh, multi uh, multimedia playback and thumb thumbnail display. Okay. So if you want to, you can click with this one and just create it. This one is also very quick. Yes, and so this is the process if you want to mount your remote NAS or uh, cloud storage. And next, we are going to show you uh, how we can do the uh, transfer data from this um, remote NAS or cloud storage. Oh, so for the data. Yes. Uh, first, uh, we try the uh, data from cloud to our local NAS. Yeah. Okay. So let's from Dropbox. Dropbox. We have something. Okay. And maybe I just this one ABCDFG. Okay. And I drag it to home. Copy and skip to. Yes. And then just drag and drop. Yes. Yeah, just drag just and that's drop. That's it. And uh, it will take a few yeah, time. Sometimes. It shows the tasks. Yeah, there. it shows the tasks here. Mm. Yes, and but this is very convenient actually yeah. from your cloud service directly to so another you can folder. See it is finished. Yeah, it's there. Here. Yeah. And also, you can uh, transfer your file from the uh, remote NAS. And also, you can transfer your cloud data to another cloud. Oh, from so cloud to cloud. Yes, from cloud to wow. cloud. It's very really easy. You just need to. Drag and drop. So it's, it's all about drag and drop now after yes. you mount. <laughs> so now we uh, demo, I just drag this text.
add to oh, yeah. to this demo folder. Demo in Dropbox. Also in this time. Yeah, maybe it needs uh, time, but you can see the background is here is. Oh, you can also see the uh, uh, the logs. Okay. This is from uh, cloud to cloud, and Something maybe fell. Let's see. internet connection. So, anyway, we we understand that it's it just yeah, 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 there, yeah. there, there it's it is here. there. Yeah. It's so I just uh, transfer this uh, document from my drop uh, Google Drive to my Dropbox. Hmm. So uh, as this uh, process, you can. Uh, transfer lots of data from cloud to cloud very easy and very convenient. Yeah, you have now access to FTP, you have access to Google Drive, Dropbox, yes. and Safe Samba. Yes, so and all of them you have it here. Also, you can transfer your data from NAS to NAS, from a remote NAS to another remote oh, NAS. Okay. Yeah, so let's try it. Um, because uh, uh, even though uh, we, mount in, we mount the same uh, NAS, remote NAS, yeah. But uh, the system will see it, uh, see it as a different connection. So we also can try it. Okay. We can um, try to copy the file from uh, our Samba protocol to our FTP protocol. Okay. So let's try it. I just. From protocol to protocol. This right. is, yeah, it's loading, so maybe. Did the other one that you just mounted the multimedia? Yeah, there. Yeah, um, yeah, maybe do a new connection. Try to okay. try to mount it. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, yeah. yeah, there it is. Actually, this was a good tutorial. On you can edit it yes. there immediately. If there is something, you just so press and edit the connection. Now uh, we try to uh, move the data from this multimedia to uh, this home folder mm. to a different network protocol. Yeah. From Samba to FTP. Yes. Oh, there it is. It's done. Very, yeah. very quick. Yes. So uh, that is the uh, trans uh, data transfer from remote NAS and local NAS and from also from cloud storage. Cloud service. Yes. Uh, there. It. Yeah, this one there are maybe some uh, different tasks, but we al we already did the from protocol to protocol, yes. from cloud to service to another cloud service, or from NAS to NAS, yes. and vice versa. So remote. Uh, there were remote devices, external devices, and cloud services, all in one single stream, where we, we just uh, performed all the tasks with drag and drop. <laughs> yeah, drag and drop. Because um, yeah. uh, since I'm busy, so first I just... Uh, okay, right now I want to um, delete this uh, remote map. Oh, okay. Yeah, so what can, what can I do? I can go to this remote map button, and here we can go to the current connection status. Yeah. Yeah, and we can uh, manage your connection here. And you can disconnect it or remove it. Oh, that's so simple. Yes. The error here, some error happened, so I just remove it. Uh, we choose the connection, yeah. Okay, we, will, we see that the owner try again. Maybe reload it again. Yeah. So we see that the in the current connection we have the option to disconnect or remove uh, one of the mounted files. Yes. So if we try again, so maybe co current connection status. Yeah. Yes, I removed so. the connection. And I can also uh, disconnect it temporarily. Oh, and temporarily. Then, yeah, temporarily, and I can connect it again. Oh, that's so, yeah, so yeah. It, at the same time, you know, it can be done disconnected for a short time and connected yeah, yeah, immediately, yeah. so it yes. knows by itself. Yes. That's very convenient. 
Uh, if I if I want to view the uh, connection history, I can see here is the connection record. Okay. And you can see every connection record uh, list here. Where you have been connected before. Yes. And uh, we have a convenient function here, which is uh, reconnect. If the some uh, connection has already been re removed, mm -hmm. and you can also see that connection in the record, and you can uh, click here reconnect to connect this connection again. Okay. And directly. Very so it easy. saves everything. Yeah, yeah. Uh, everything. So that's the demonstration uh, in our file station. Yes. Okay, so maybe we go back to the live.